Okay, so there's one. We're going to go ahead and jump on here and see what we get for the next one. Oh. Now we got a part one of three, delving into the past. Not exactly sure what I need from this one, but I need to find an old mining colony and bring back whatever I find. This is against Amar, so they're going to be doing EM damages, which means that I'm going to have to keep moving to make sure that I'm not taking excess damage. I could change out my hardener um, to match the damage type. However, I think I can move fast enough to avoid most of the damage and go ahead and get everything killed. Uh, for the guys just joining, you're also more than welcome to hit me up on Twitter. You can hit me up at uh, pound CTV99 live, or you can just shoot me a message directly at CTV99 um, if you so choose. Okay, so I've set my destination, and away we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch back to our gates tab, and we're going to go ahead and just jump right on through, and we're going to see what's going on at the next one. Like I said in the last one, you can see here on my screen that I've got three anomalies that have shown up. One that is green, which means I can jump right to it, and two that were red, that means I have to scan them down. I might at a later date do a scanning video to show you how you guys do that, and to give you some pointers on how that works out the easiest. Um, skills are not as necessary anymore. They do help. Um, but you can do it just first starting the game, or you can get really good at it and spend a few months getting your skills up to level 4 or 5 and be able to scan quite a bit faster. That's all just in how you want to play the game. Each one of us does play different, so we just take it how we go. Okay, so in we go. I'm going into a new system, so I am going to go ahead and post in and See if we can get somebody else to join us in the room here. I've not been in this system yet today. So let's just post in and see who shows up. So okay, we're going to go ahead and click up here and we're going to go warp to our location. It does say it's a dead space complex, so hopefully that means there's no gate this time and we can just go straight in and get to work. So here we go. Okay, while well I'm here, but I don't see anybody yet. Let's go ahead and switch to my ship's tab. Yep, there's nobody here yet. So here's the old mining colony. Make sure that we don't have to go to the other one. There's two of them, so I think I'll approach the one that's further away. My guess is the closer into this I get, the more little things are going to pop up or the more ships are going to jump in. I have not actually run this one in quite a while. I'm not exactly sure which way they actually jump in. Like I said, I'm not real concerned with it just due to the way I have the ship fit, but I will go ahead and turn on my damage control and my hardener just in case. But there's our cartographer's quarters, and that may be actually what we're going for. Since that is a can, that would be where I need to get the map from. Welcome to our new viewer. Okay, when we get within range, it's going to automatically open it up for us. And then we're going to hopefully get our map, and then we should have a little bit of fighting to do. Okay, so there's our old map. Go ahead and loot that. And that's a little bit odd. We didn't actually get anybody showing up. So let's go ahead and check our mission and let's see what it says. So it does say we have the item now and all we need to do is go drop it off. So at this point, we should be able to just go drop it off from the looks of it. I don't see that there's anything else we need to do, and I also do not see any ships that we need to kill. So, fairly easy run all in all. So we'll go back to our gates, and we'll go ahead and jump right in.
and away we go. And just so I say this again for the people who are watching, if you're in EVE, shoot me a message in local, and I've got 10 exotic dancers with your name on it. Um, you can also send me a private message, and I can get them to you that way if you don't want to say anything in local. That's perfectly fine, but just hit me up, and I've got 10 exotic dancers for tonight. They are female. We're going to go ahead and dock back up at home and get this one turned in and get part two, and let's see where it leads us. Looks like Stealth McCloud is chasing me. I'm not so sure, but he might be. <laughs> oh, you must be watching me. Uh, I figured you were here to come take my strippers then. Were you in the mackerel? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet ship. I've thought about getting one myself, but I'm pretty partial to the rattlesnake. Um, tends to be a little bit nicer for drones. And it gives you some pretty killer range on your cruise missiles. Let's go ahead and turn this one in here. Okay, so there's that one. We're going to go ahead and take the next one in this set and see where it leads us. Now i got to go to another system I haven't been to yet today. Looks like in this one all we have to do is explore an observation post and get another map. So let's see if this one's any more exciting than the last one. Let's go ahead and set destination to that point. Oh, I don't have to set destination. It's actually in the system that I'm in. So go ahead and Close that out, and away we go. And welcome, Sean62. If I haven't already been talking to you already, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy the view. Okay, now i got to figure out where this is at here. Oh, I do have a gate to go through. Look at that. So away I go. So you're running the level fours out of here, or are you surely you're not running level twos in a in a mackerel. Yep, the fours out of here are pretty nice. They don't tend to send you to low sec, but about once every 15 or 18 missions, um, and then you can always decline them and then immediately take something that's in high sec. Every once in a while, you, you get a crappy run and. You'll end up having to move systems because it'll give you two in a row. I'm not real partial to jumping into low sec to going and doing those. Let me go ahead and broadcast here again and see if we can find some more people to chat with tonight. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our mission here. If we look here, I think it will say it does not say dead space this time. So it's prob. Oh, nope, it does say dead space. So we should be going straight in. And then we should just be looking for the next cartographer, our cartographer's quarters to be able to get our map. If I'd quit getting tongue-tied, I'd be doing a whole lot better tonight. By the way, just for those of you just joining in, this is just my third day of, of uh, posting videos and trying to get people to 
watch what I'm doing. This isn't the only game that I play. If you look at my Twitch feed, you'll see a few others. Um, I do have things that I would rather play. Eve, however, seems to be pretty fun, and we tend to have a pretty good time playing it. Um, hopefully this weekend I'll be playing with a bunch of other guys, and you'll get to see us running some level 4s. We might even get into some low-grade PvP, um, one-on-one or two-on-one. And then we'll go through some settings for that and how to make things that way run a little bit nicer. This is one where, since it was a dead space, I probably should have warped in at you know 10 or 15k out. That way I would not be stuck on this stupid station trying to get around it. So what you do to fix that is you turn around away from it and you just start pointing away. You can kick on your afterburner if you have one. If you don't, you just point away, give it 5 or 10 seconds, and then you should be able to turn back and head to where you needed to go. Um, that's how you typically get around that kind of stuff. You'll find that when you're trying to get off stations, um, trying to warp and things like that. In low sec, it's really important to have just insta warps so that when you get out of a station, you can immediately warp off of the station, you know, 50 or 100k, and you're out of range of anybody who is currently sitting there unless they're sitting in a carrier. And then at that point, we just wish you the best. The nice thing is, is that a carrier does not have um, a very fast locking speed. Now, I did just leave an alliance that had boot fit, alliance, boot fit carriers, and if they were running those with Lokis, nobody stood a prayer's chance. It didn't matter where your warp out was. You were probably going to die. So there's our next map. We got that. I'm going to take a quick spin around here and... If I quit opening things that I don't need to open here. And we're just going to take a quick spin around and see if anybody showed up. Oh, look at that. We did get a couple of guys this time. We got some some guys, and they're not on my list. So I've got to go ahead and get these guys added. So you just right-click, add them to the overview, and now they're going to be on my list. I don't happen to see anybody else, but I do see these guys. And they're going to start doing some damage if I don't get my stuff back on and get moving. So I'm going to go ahead and hit orbit here. And since I'm all locked up, I'm going to go ahead and also launch out my drones. This will drop my AMR standings by attacking these guys. I could just warp away and not attack them at all. However, they do drop tags. Those tags are something that I kind of value. So I'm going to go ahead and kill them and take their tags. Just because I'm that kind of guy. And I don't mind killing them, they're kind of fun. As you can see, I'm all locked up, and I'm not taking as much damage. I am taking quite a bit. Um, I did not kick on my afterburner, I probably should have. That would help get me a little more speed, and then their lasers won't be able to hit me quite as hard. Um, sometimes they do hit harder. As you can see, now I'm into armor. So I will need to kick on my armor repair, since I'm not tanked exactly right for this. I do need to get a couple of these guys out of here. So now that I'm in range, I'm also going to go ahead and kick on my guns, and I'm just going to help pound through this guy a little bit quicker. But I seem to be holding out okay now that I'm in close. They're not able to hit me near as easy because their lasers do not have their range, and now I seem to be doing okay. So the first guy is almost dead, and then we're going to move on to the second guy. We're going to do the same orbit, strat the same orbit strategy, and we're going to go ahead and go through it. Here we go. Welcome Stealth McLeod and Sean62. So here we go. I'm orbiting him. I do need to go ahead and point my drones at him since my drones move to the to a different guy. I want to make sure to keep my, my damage all focused on one guy so that I am making sure to hit as hard as I can on one guy and take him out the fastest. Since there are only three guys, this is not a real problem. Zoom out here a little bit, and you can see a little bit more here. And we're about three quarters of the way through armor now, starting to get our structure. And there goes the second one. We're going to go ahead and move on to the third one now. We need to go ahead and orbit him too. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn off my armor repair because I'm starting to run out of capacitor. This is not a perfectly stable fit. I do run out of cap. It is pretty standard when you're running an afterburner plus a repair. It, however, does not take very long to recharge the capacitor if you just turn off your armor repair for just a minute. As long as you're tanked right, you can get away with doing cycling, staggered cycling, to where they're not everything's not ending all at the same time. Um, and that does tend to help out. Now that we're in range, I can go ahead and kick on my guns again, and we'll go ahead and shoot this guy and get him out, and then we'll go pick up our tags. Now, if I had a tractor beam on this rig, I would be able to go ahead and just tractor those wrecks directly to me and pick them up. However, on this particular one, I do not have room for it, so I do not have that. Um, I also do not have any salvage drones on me. If I had salvage drones on me, I would not. I I could l let them loose, and they would do the salvaging for me. Um, I happen to have a salvager on here. Um, if I would replace that with a tractor beam might be a little more handy, but then I would not have spare drones if I lost one. Um, in this particular loadout, I'm not carrying very much ammo, so I want to make sure that I have spare drones. And as you can see, I got about 1.2 million just out of that first guy. I got an upgraded energized thermic membrane. I got a medium regenerative projector. And I got an Imperial Navy Major um, Insignia 1 worth 1.1 million isk. So that's not bad for a level 2 just for the first wreck. Now I'm not going to go ahead and bother to salvage. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up. And since they are quite a ways away from each other, I'm going to go ahead and just kick on my afterburner and I'm going to get right over to them. And as you can see, I just got another um, hashtag notice saying that Fit Strong Lean says that this feed rocks. So that's awesome. And that is all live. So if you guys send something to it, they will um, show right up on the screen. So feel free to hit that up as much as you want. And here I am stuck on the station again when I am nowhere near it. Eve's physics on some of this just drive me nuts. Um, I would think that if I was on top of it, then I would get hit. But sometimes you can be quite a ways away and still for Eve's sake, be on top of it. On the second one here, it looks like we got another 1.2 million. I got another Imperial Navy Major Insignia, some experimental thermic, a prototype energized thermic, some more metal scraps, and a laser crystal. So we'll go ahead and loot all that. And then we're going to go to the last one and see if we can make another million. And that's starting to make tonight not so bad, just running level 2s. I'd make a whole lot more running level 3s or level 4s, but for the sake of speed right now, I am just running level 1s and 2s. This weekend is when we'll start hitting level 3s and 4s, and those will get a little bit more fun, and we'll actually take time to salvage those. This one here again, we got another 1.1 million. It is another Imperial Navy Major Signa, uh, Insignia. Sorry. Okay, and since there's nobody else on scan, we're going to go ahead and warp back out of here. I get on my gate and I'm just going to jump right in to the other system and we're going to turn this one in and then we're going to go ahead and take the last one in this set. If you do like the feed, feel free to subscribe. That'll just let you know when I'm on and broadcasting. Um, I do like to do first person shooters. We do um, quite a few different MMOs. Um, if you have any request of an MMO that you'd like to see, you're more than welcome to shoot me a message or post it on my wall, send me a Twitter feed, um, and just let me know what you'd like to see. I'll gladly try just about any game that's out there so long as it doesn't just absolutely suck. However, if you send me Minecraft request, I will block you. I absolutely hate that game. It is one of those things that I just absolutely cannot stand. If I want to play a game with 20-year-old graphics, I will go play a 20-year-old game. I will not play a brand new game with 20-year-old graphics. It is not something I am interested in. 
Somebody's saying Warframe. I have not heard of that one, so let me go look it up and let's see what it is. Let's see what Warframe is. Let me go take a look at the screenshots here and let's see what this looks like. It actually doesn't look half bad. Looks like a nice little uh, first-person shooter. Uh, is that right, Stealth McCloud? Is that actually a first-person shooter? Go ahead and turn this one in. And now we're going to go ahead and request the last one in this set. Now this, uh, this one... This one does say that it has ship restrictions, so I'm going to go ahead and check them. The only ships that you're allowed to take into the last part of this one are going to be a stealth bomber, a destroyer, a deep space transport, a rookie ship, an interdictor, a blockade runner, frigates, assault frigates, cruisers, shuttles, industrials, electronic warfare ships, covert ops, and interceptors. And Stealth McCloud is saying that it is a first-person shooter, so that's kind of nice. Um, give me a little bit here. I'm not going to download it while I'm actually streaming here. Um, I will download it, though. Uh, and sometime here in the next week or so, I will try to get a feed with that running. Um, if you go ahead and subscribe, I will see your name, and I'll remember to message you to let you know that that feed is up and that we're running that game, and I'll try to find you in there if you're playing, too. So you can uh, get some shout-outs to some of your peeps. But let's go ahead and get this one run. We have 4 hours and 35 minutes, so obviously this one's going to be a little bit tough. Um, it's probably one where I have to kill everything from the looks of it. Uh, I just need to find out if the vault is intact. So this is probably one where I don't need to kill everything. I just need to get in and get out. Um, it does play 336 loyalty points, so it will be a little bit difficult. This is about twice a standard level 2. We did okay on the last one, so I should be okay on this one. And I did not set my destination, I don't think. No, I did not. So I need to go here. Oh, it's right here in system. So we're just going to warp right in and see what happens. Hopefully we don't die. I'm going to go ahead and kick on my damage control. And my Thermocardiner. I probably should have put on an EM Hardener just for this one, just to make sure. But if I start taking too much damage, um, I'm rigged well enough that I can just turn off my Afterburner and get in close, and I should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. The camera on EVE does tend to reset every time you come in and out of the station, so you do have to zoom in and out a lot. Um, it is fairly easy, and you do get used to it. And this is a gated community, so means we can't use a micro warp drive if we had one. So we're going to go ahead and jump on in here and let's see what happens. And I still haven't had anybody take me up on these exotic dancers that I've got in my cargo hold for somebody. Maybe I'll get to keep them until tomorrow. Okay, we've got some frigates and we've got some cruisers. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start locking these guys up. I do not have them on my overview, so I do need to add them. Uh, we're going to start taking out the frigates first. And we're just going to go ahead and start getting in close on these guys and taking them out. I do like taking out these guys just for their tags. Their tags tend to be worth quite a bit. We should not see any battleships in this one, but because there are quite a bit more ships, that would explain the loyalty point increase. Um, like I said, if I have to, I will warp out and warp back in. I don't really feel like losing about 60 million isk in this ship. I've not gotten anybody to lock me up yet, but I am starting to get within a few K here, and I should be close to within range of my guns. We're down to 18k. Let's 
17. We're starting. Oh, now we're starting to get locked up. Here we go. Now we're going to start taking some damage. Oh, and they've got weapons tracking disruption on me. So I need to figure out which guys are doing that. That's these two little guys here that I had up front first anyway. So we're going to go ahead and start pounding on these guys and get our armor up around here. Get our drones out. And let's hope that we survive this. Not 100% sure on this one that I am going to survive it. Um, I'm going to have to work pretty quick to make sure that I can get through these frigates and get them off of me so that I can move on to the bigger targets that are not going to do quite as much damage to me. And they still do quite a bit of damage, but they should not do as much. As you can see, I've already stabilized that on my armor. I've taken out the primary damage that uh, kills me the most. do need to check on my drones, but so far I seem to have all the aggro right now. I'm just going to go where my drones went at this point and suck my guns on that Templar. We're going to go ahead and pop him and move on. These are cruisers, so they are taking me a little bit longer to pound through. I'm not using sentries at this point. I probably should be. It would make this go a lot easier and I could sit quite a bit further out. Uh, my sentries have about a 70k range. Um, I can only lock 60, so I would still have to be within 60k, but their lasers would not hit me at 60k at this point. Thanks, Stealth McLeod. That's a wonderful post for me. I got some messages here, so I'm going to see what I got. Oh, and thanks, Stealth McLeod, for the follow. I'll be sure to get your message as soon as uh, as soon as I can get that game downloaded. I'll download it tomorrow while I'm at work, and then I'll get it installed and try to get it set up so I can see how it looks. But from the looks of those screenshots that are on there, it looks fairly decent. I would say that it's not going to be a horrible game to play, um, so long as it's not horribly, horribly glitchy. Uh, but it does look fairly decent. Um, it is a very, very interesting uh, looking characters. But the maps themselves look fairly decent. So here we go. If I remember to turn on my guns, I would uh, probably get through these guys just a hair bit faster. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and take on the next one here. I'm already switching to orbit. My drones went to a different one, so I'm going to go ahead and move them over to the one that I'm currently on, even though they've already hit the other one. It does not really affect anything. Um, it's just shields. They will regenerate it. Welcome, Daldaman. Hope you enjoy the feed. For those of you just joining in, you can hit me up on Twitter. You can use hashtag CTV99Live. Or you can just send it to at CTV99, and it will show up on the screen. As you can see, Fitstrong Lean has said that uh, the live ro the that this feed rocks, and AKA Dollar Bill um, was saying that it's looking good earlier. He was on about an hour ago. Um, he was watching me when I was running some level ones earlier tonight. Um, right now, we're just doing learning ones where we're just kind of going through them and we're trying to see what's out here. I have not done a lot of these in quite a while. Um, I've been in low sec for the last year and a half, so I'm just kind of coming back in. So I thought this might be kind of fun to do. Uh, I've got the skill points and the money to handle it, so it doesn't really hurt me much. Try on, sorry, no asteroids. Um, not really interested in doing a mining feed. I think that might be kind of boring for people. However, if it is requested, I might hop in with my other account and get into my uh, to my mining ships and go out and kill some stuff. Kind of show you how ice mining works and how you can get bonuses from orcas um, and see what we can get done with that. However, at this point, I do need to stop and let pick up my drones. And before I go pick up the last piece that I need, I do want to go ahead and pick up the Rex while I'm close to these and go ahead and get my tags. Like I said, for all the guys listening tonight, if you just send me a message in local or send me a private message, 
I will get you some free exotic dancers. I do have the female variety tonight. I have 10 of them that I picked up earlier from a drop that I got on a level 1 mission. And they are up for grabs tonight. They're not extremely hard to find, but they are some funny things to throw in a keep can just for, just for giggles. Here we go. Let's open the next one and see what we get. Oh, only a 7,000 is tag, but that's okay. A tag is a tag in this game. There's another one for 7,000. And there's another one for 1.1 million. So we're starting to do pretty good on this one. This one's paying out very, very well for just a level 2 mission. Uh, the time that it's taken to run it, um, all three parts is pretty equivalent to a level 4 depending on what you're running. If you are like Stealth McCloud, then you are probably doing level 4s in blitz mode, or you're just doing them from range, and that makes it quite a bit easier and able to get through it faster. He happens to be running a mackerel. Uh, mackerels are very, very high DPS, um, and they also have a very good tank. They should be for what they cost. The last time I specced one with a decent fit, it was right around 2 billion isk to get one. And we're not going to ask Stealth what he's running, because that would not be fair to him. But I'm pretty sure that he's pounding through him just fine. And we got about 10,000 off that one. And as you guys have noticed, I try to keep an eye on local. I also try to keep an eye on Twitch itself, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, we did get another 1.1 million out of that one. At the end of this, I'll go ahead and open up my cargo hold, and I'll show you what all we got, and about what this one paid out, and about what I got in loot. That, however, will not include had I salvaged, um, and it will also not include my um, ammo cost in this. Uh, the payout on this ISK-wise has only been about 750,000 ISK total, which is not horrible for a level 2. You could do better. You could also do a, a lot, lot worse. The mining level 2s do not generally pay quite as well. But they are a whole lot safer. We got about 17,000 out of that guy, and we got one guy left. I'll go ahead and kick off my afterburner now that my capacitor is recharged. And I'll just jet right over there and pick that one up. And then I've got to turn around and I've got to find the spot where it wanted me to go. And there actually may not be a spot here from the looks of it. It looks like I just have to fly to that beacon. It's 36k away. So we'll see here in just a second. Okay, we got another 1.1 million. So like I said, all in all, this is not a very bad haul. Um, let's go ahead and check the mission and see if it says we've completed it. If it does, yep, we did complete it. I do not have to fly anywhere else. This section here, just this piece alone, paid about um, 505,000 ISK. You get 336 loyalty points. Um, so that's actually not a really bad payout for just a level 2. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and dock up and turn this one in. And here we go. Now, if you do have your afterburner or your micro warp drive on, it will cause you to warp away slower. If you're ever in a PvP battle and you need to get away quickly, one of the first things you want to turn off if you're not if you're not webbed and scrammed, uh, you want to turn off your afterburner or your micro warp drive. It will help you align faster and get out of there. If you are webbed, you want to leave your micro warp drive on to try to get away from the web so that you can then turn it off and get away and get your warp initiated. If you are scrammed, however, you are not going to be able to get away at all. You will be stuck there until you can get out of range of that scram. Got a couple guys sitting outside the station here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn this one in. And that completes that set. And however, guys, I will not be doing any more missions tonight. 
Um, I do unfortunately have to go to work in the morning fairly early. Um, so that will be it for this feed tonight. But like I told you, I will go ahead and show you what all we got in here. And I will uncheck the one item that I don't need after I stack all this stuff. So it's a little easier to see. Um, total payout and things that I just picked up, I made almost 9 million isk. And that's not real shabby. That means that I made almost 10 million isk on a single three-part level 2 that did not take very long to run. Um, and that's just kind of how these missions go. Um, I want to welcome It's Just Jake 44. He just joined us on Twitch. Um, enjoy the feed. Sorry you got in a little bit late. I'm actually just about to end because I have to get up and go to work in the morning. But I wanted to give one more shout out to see if anybody wanted these exotic dancers. Oh, and look at that. I got a faction missing just as I was ending tonight. So. Tomorrow when I start up, we'll go run that faction mission, and we'll see where it leads us. Um, but I'm just wondering if anybody is interested in these exotic dancers. If so, just message me in uh, Twitch or pop on local and holler out, and I'll get them right over to you. Give it just a second here to see if anybody wants them. It's just Jake44 says he has it. male exotic dancers. Well, the ones that I happen to have are female. I have ten of them that are available, and they are free. There is no cost on them. Their value is about 500,000 isk. So if nothing else, I'm giving you 500,000 isk for free. So if you'd like them, just hit me up. Otherwise, I'm going to roll them over to the next night. We're going to see what happens next. For right now, though, I am going to go ahead and unload everything except them and my ammunition into my item hanger so I'm not carrying it with me for tomorrow so we can get a little bit more accurate loadout on what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay, well, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and log off for the night. We'll see you all tomorrow. If you enjoyed the feed, please remember to subscribe, and then you'll know when I'm on. Um, for Stealth McCloud, I will be trying out that game here in the next few days, and we'll see how it works. As long as thing go, things go fairly well this weekend for me and Eve, I should be able to try it either on Saturday or Sunday. Um, I'm not going to set a specific time for that just because I don't know at this point. It um, just depends on how my weekend goes. Um, welcome Argon N666 to the channel. You're catching me just as I'm logging off, unless you are hopping on to pick up your free exotic female dancers. Um, they are absolutely free. Not getting any messages here, so I'm going to take it that he's not real interested in them. So, I will see you all tomorrow. You guys have a good night. I'm signing off.